It wasn't easy. Hi guys, welcome back to Naptural. Today we're going to talk about biotin, castor oil, and um, henna or any ayurvedic powder. Does it really work when it comes to thickening your hair? So before I go in deep into that, I just want to talk quickly about the basic science of hair. First, let, let's make a difference between hair density, which, which is the amount of hair that one person has on a certain area, of the, uh, on a certain space of the, the scalp, and the width of the hair, which is actually the diameter of the hair, the actual hair strand. I'll probably be virtually shot here. Because of what I'm going to say. Biologically, it's impossible to change the size, the diameter of the hair strand. Yes, I've said it. It's impossible. Why? Because the, the actual diameter of the hair strand is determined by the diameter of the hair follicle. As you know, the hair grows from a hair follicle and take the diameter of that follicle. So we're born with it. It's genetic. Now, at the base of the follicle, you find the papillas, that's where everything happens, the blood vessels are, they're bringing nutrients and, uh, you know, feeding those cells that's going to produce the hair that we see here. And the hair goes through a process, those cells go through a process that we call keratinization. Basically, the cell we harden to form what we can see here. Once the hair is out of the follicle, that's it. The deal has been done. It took the diameter of the follicle and basta. <laughs> that's it. Your thickness has been determined. Now, during the course of life, the follicle can shrink for different reasons. It can be disease, it can be that because the scalp is obstructed, the, f the follicle can't breathe and can't produce healthy hair, so the, the normal size shrinks. There are treatment or there are stuff that you can do to make those fo follicle wider again, but they will not be, they'll just basically return to the diameter they had originally they will not go wider than that. It's impossible. But still we live in miracles. Now, when they say that uh, castor oil, biotin, henna make the hair strand thicker, is it really true? No, it's not. It does give the illusion of thicker strand because the dense most of the time the density has increased density can increase why because we we have a certain number of follicle on, on our scar not every single follicle has hair normally it should have hair but not every single follicle has hair so when you let's start with castor oil castor oil is an oil that has uh, anti inflammatory and antibacterial properties so when you apply it on the scalp you can't just go and dab it and leave it no you have to massage when you massage that oil that has the antibacterial anti-inflammatory properties so it's killing the bacterial and it's actually relaxing treating the follicles but you have you still have that action of massaging as well combined to the property of the oil which increase the blood flow on the follicle and bring more nutrients and feed the the follicle to produce better quality hair 
but still with the same diameter in a scarf we all have um follicles that are dormant they're still there but they're not they're, they're, for whatever reason they don't produce hair so by doing that you're stimulating those follicles to produce new hair so you have more hair you have an increase of hair on your scalp which is more density than thickening of the hair strands i hope you understand what i'm trying to to say now that was castor oil you can for example you can do your own experience get another oil there, there are different oils that have the same the same property as castor oil like another very good oil is the emu 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 oil or you can do an experience get one side of your 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 head or one patch massage with castor oil and another patch massage with another oil who might have the same type of um of property and compare the result if you get the same result or not but I really insist it's more the density of hair that has increased than the actual thickness of the hair strand another very popular one is biotin well who hasn't heard about uh, biotin biotin it's um, it's a water soluble vitamin it's part of the um, B complex vitamin that acts as a coenzyme to produce fatty acids and metabolize amino acids to which form protein our hair is mainly protein we found biotin in food like egg yolk soybeans nuts milk and the body also produce biotin naturally so it's very difficult for one person to be deficient in biotin very very difficult scientists also believe that topical treatment with biotin doesn't really affect the the follicle and doesn't do much because the, the actual molecule of the biotin is too large for the skin to absorb so the best way to absorb biotin is to take it as um internally as a supplement or with loads of food that eat loads of food that contain biotin another one is henna now henna mimics protein when you do a protein treatment, where you have missing cuticle, the protein will go and fill in the gaps. Henna does the same and it also creates um, an envelope around the hair shaft which give an illusion of extra thickness. And I really insist, illusion of instant uh, Thick, thickness and it's temporary it will fade away so so you understand it didn't change the diameter it just put another layer that with time disappear so I guess you understand now you know when product are claiming you can make your own judgment product claiming that it's gonna increase the diameter of your hair no it's mainly um, affecting the density of your hair now what can you do to maximize the density of your uh, your hair you can do that with your diet uh, well a healthy balanced diet eating food that are rich in like um, biotin loads of protein because our hair is made of protein you need protein you need protein so having this type of food help um, to have to maximize um, better quality hair also number two increase blood circulation by massaging your, your scalp on a regular basis because when you're massaging your scalp you're stimulating the um, the follicle you have the blood 
bringing more pumping more and bringing all those nutrients on the follicle and the follicle does its job properly number three I'll say is to keep a clean scalp now I know there's lots of people who coerce I've been there and I still do I'll make a video about that but it's good I really insist it's good from time to time to completely clean the scalp remove all the debris remove all the stuff that are clogging the the hair follicles because that can actually lead to hair loss or shrink the follicles so that they start producing finer and finer hair I'll make a video it's gonna be a video where I'm showing you how the scalp look under the microscope and show you what you see on the scalp and that can change me that basically changed the game for me and I started using shampoo again especially on my scalp and nowadays there's loads of good shampoo you don't have to use harsh sulfate shampoo there's loads of sulfate free shampoo that does the job and it's very important from time to time to really clean your uh, scalp without stripping it from the natural oil which is sebum I hope this video has been helpful let me know your thoughts in the comment box and uh, thank you for watching see you soon bye bye